<laughs> and that's a really great thing to have an introduction by her husband when you know that he really means it. And um, I love him so much for letting him letting me be who I want to be. Um, I was a tomboy my whole life, and um, I never got the chance to play sports. But I grew up in beautiful Pacifica where you could play all day long until six o'clock till you had to eat dinner. And you had to play with the best athletes on the streets. Now, when I was on Hermosa Avenue, I grew up with Jerry Wheeler and the Wheelers and the Newlands, but no one knew that. I didn't even know who they were. I just played softball and ball on the street and did all these great things. And I never got to play sports um, I don't think that my parents or my dad really thought sports were for girls because I grew up in a time where my education was very important. So I got to play in Pacifica and that's all I really did. I never knew what it was like to be on a team. Years go by and um, I find kickboxing and I, I knew that at that moment that's where I wanted to be. I was a fighter. I've been a fighter my whole life but I never got to show anybody how I played. So when I got to Skyline College and I joined wrestling and I got in a huge accident there that no one really did anything about, I hopped down to my car with a broken leg and I went to the hospital. No one really helped me and it was ironic. But um, I knew from that point I would do something to make myself a better person. So I started working out and I became a kickboxer. But one thing I did do is I went to school when I was 26. I had been working and I decided to be a return student and I went to Skyline College. And that's where I learned that people, coaches were so important and that sports saved my life. And at Skyline College, and it's, you know, a lot of my boxers that are here that are world champions and a lot of the people that I know don't know this, but there was a coach there that changed my life and his name is Gary Turner. And this coach gave me a shot because no one thought that I could play softball on this team really and be good because everyone else played Bobby Sox. I didn't know what that was. Bobby Sox was big in Pacifica. And I thought, man, I'm great at sports, but no one knows it. And no one really cared. I was just some girl who wanted to be on the team. So this one coach, Gary Turner, taught me how to be a coach he took me aside, he brought some pitching machine I'd never seen before, and he, I'm a lefty, so he taught me how yeah. to do a drag bunt. I made it to first base almost every single time I dropped that bunt. I had the best batting average there was that season, and I was the MVP player on that team. Now, no one would have thought someone like me would do that, and I did that but I always remembered that coach. And in my mind, whenever I had a fight, this one coach's face would come to my mind. And for my whole life, I'm glad I saw him here tonight because for my whole life, that coach stood out. And that's how important coaches are. There was a coach, I never did track and field. So I decided, hey, I made my, my boyfriend, who's my husband at the time, join Skyline one class just to be on this cross country team. Because I thought, I love sports, you know, I, can't, I love the workouts, I love all this stuff. I never got to do it as a kid. So when I got to Skyline, I was the captain of the cross country team. I was just, I, was just, I loved sports. But there was one other coach there, Coach Lahati, who I don't know if he worked on my spiritual but it's so important what coaches do for people because I wasn't the best on that team, but I was at practice. I was the best, I thought I was the best at practice, but when it came to the meets, I wasn't the best. But it didn't matter because I was one of those people that added points to the team. So Coach Lahari, I wanted to, I don't, I haven't seen him for a while, but he was my ninja. He was the guy who I respected, the guy who I looked up to. Um, there's one more person that's really important to me, and I just want to acknowledge that uh, no one came to my fight. You know, when I was a fighter, no one took me seriously. I, I don't think my family had ever come to any of my fights, and that was okay. I was okay with that, but my there was one person who was always there other than my husband because he went to everything. But sister. my sister, who 
you know, when your sisters, you, you sleep together, you eat together, you do everything together. I held her hands for years. She was in my, all my moments, all my best moments. Without my sister, Lupi, I am not me. I am not that person. And without her, yeah. I just my heart, my soul. Um, you know, I, I thank my dad for this because he came to the United States to be a boxer. And and I'm the one out of having five, there's five of us. My brothers couldn't box. They didn't want to do it. I was the tough one. And so I'm here. So I just want to say that um, right now, I, I didn't have a time to write the speech. I have a WBC champion, the heavyweight champion of the world here, Martha Salazar. Yeah. yeah. We are the only WBC champions, which is the best belt in the world, in California for a female, and we're out of Pacifica, California. Martha, Martha, Martha. Yeah. That's a hard title to get, by the way. But the other thing is beautiful brawlers. I um, support female fighting. It's a double-edged sword. A lot of people think that oh, girls shouldn't fight, but guess what? There's girls that do fight. Yes. And there's going to be someone who's going to protect them, to promote them, and to take them to, to succeed and follow their dreams. And that's what I do. And that's what I've been doing for the last five years. And we created champions all over the world. Yeah. Woo! I'd like to just go say a couple, uh, a list of thank yous so I don't forget anybody. And I had to write them down because it's just... I've been really busy with this camp. And I also want to thank um, the WBO World Flyweight Champ, Melissa McMurrow, yeah, yeah, yeah. who's here. Yeah. We got yeah. 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 Melissa! Woo! I want to thank my mom, who's the best mom in the world, who's been surrounded by boxing her whole life. Yeah. Yeah. She loves me, so even though I'm, I don't know, a lot of people thought I was ghetto for fighting, <laughs> but I'm not. I just like to fight. Um, I'd like to thank uh, my sisters, Lizzie, and like I said, Lupi, for always supporting me and being behind me 100%, and knowing that we can do what we do, and even though we're females, we're tough, and this is who I am, and try to stop me out of, I don't know if you can. Yeah. Um, I want to thank uh, my boxing family who, um, Mario Cabrera, some yeah, of the media, yeah. Robert Cartagena, Bosco, and Susie Q, and my cousin Charvella, and, and Christina, and a lot of the people who come here, and who I couldn't believe coming here, because we're all very busy getting ready for this big boxing match in Mexico. So I didn't expect them to be here, and I'm really just touched and moved, and I'm thankful that they're here for me. Um, I want to thank Coach Ed Clemens, who's an old old school coach, who's about 80, 73 years old, that comes from Pescadero, that comes to help the kids in Pacifica every single day, because we teach kids in Pacifica how not to get bullied, not to fight, just not to get bullied. I want to thank um, those coaches again, who's changed my life, Gary Turner, Coach Lahati, and um, Alex Gong, rest in peace. There was a man who was a, at Fairtex who yeah. I fought there all the time at these smokers, and there was one guy that took me seriously, and he yeah. picked me to be a judge at, at some of the smokers, and back then that was uncalled for for a woman to be in this male-dominant sport to get that kind of respect, and he's, he was killed in a bad uh, situation, but he changed my life, and forever I'll be grateful to that coach. I wanna thank... Um, I'll get to Horace too because Hor actually I want to thank Horace because not only has he supported female boxing, let me write articles, put them in, promote my fighters, and do all this great stuff. But Horace Hinshaw has probably been one of the biggest supporters I've ever had, and I'm so gracious and grateful to him for supporting me and actually letting me have this great honor in um, Pacifica because I'm just. I can't believe it's actually happening, but I put so much work in this struggle so hard, and I'm very grateful. Um, yeah. Yeah. I want to thank the Pacifica Sports. 
uh, committee for giving me an award that kept me going. And I want to dedicate this award to Rich and his wife at the Pacifica Moose Lodge for always giving the beautiful brothers a home. And the Moose Lodge has been so great for us. And we're number one in the world, and we always will be. And the Moose Lodge in Pacifica has been the greatest place in the world. So thank you so much for this gracious award. I appreciate it. Yeah! After reading her resume and all of her boxing accomplishments, I had made the decision ahead of time that she could talk as long as she wanted. Yeah. <laughs>